All right, guys, Mikey here from the Electric Scooter Guy. And guys, we're going to do a little review today on my Dualtron Ultra 2, and I'm going to tell you guys what I like and what I don't like about this electric scooter. 350 miles in. Let's see. 350.4 miles in, so pretty much 350 miles on the dot. Guys, don't mind my room. I got shit everywhere. I got book bags, helmets, all sorts of shit all over the goddamn place. But everybody's sleeping in my house right now, so I didn't want to do a video in my living room. And I keep all my electrics, well, almost all my electric scooters up here in my house. Even though I have to go up two flights of steps, it fucking sucks. But my Kabu, I keep at my boy's house because that's a fucking monster of a scooter. So I keep that at my friend's house. But anyways, I also got rid of my 11-inch uh, Alibaba scooter that I had for sale. You guys have been uh, watching my YouTube channels or if you guys were on Facebook and you guys seen it. I sold it to a kid named Jimmy from Pennsylvania. So shout out to Jimmy. Um, I know you're going to love it. He's a young guy. He's from Pennsylvania. He came up yesterday. He bought the scooter. And and he loved it. It's his first electric scooter. And like I said, he's a young guy and he's going to love it. And I just hope he enjoys it and went to a good home. So I'm happy. But anyways, guys, let's get into it. I'm going to tell you guys what I don't like about the scooter. Now, what I don't like about the scooter is the fact that it didn't come with a steering dampener. My God almighty, did it need a steering dampener? It is so sketchy. Well, it was so sketchy. After 40 miles an hour, the steering would fucking shake like crazy. I mean, it was just terrible. If you guys watch uh, Ginger on Wheels, or if you guys haven't seen Ginger on Wheels video on the Dualtron Storm, just go check it out. In that video, he'll say it a million times, my God, this thing needs a steering dampener. It is super sketchy. I mean, it would just shake. And even when you would try to brake from like 40 miles an hour down, it would shake. But once I added the steering dampener, it cleared that shit right the fuck up. Now, it should have came with double clamps. I don't know why it just came with a single clamping system. I got the K-Wheel uh, double clamps made by Dualtron. Well, it's made by K-Wheel, but it's in conjunction with Dualtron, so it's a real Dualtron double clamp. I don't know how the hell they made a 62-mile-an-hour scooter with just a single clamping mechanism. It's beyond me. Even the 10-inch Victor, the Dualtron Victor, has a double clamping mechanism. So that's one thing that I didn't like about this scooter. The lights. The lights could be better. Now, these have six lights. Three on this side and three on this side. But the Dualtron Thunder, even the Dualtron Storm and all the other previous Dualtrons only had two on each side. This is the first one to come with six lights, three on each side, but they're not that bright. Look, they only light up about this much of a, uh, you know, your way. That's why I got one, two, three, four headlights. Well, I used two for this scooter and then two for my Cabo Wolf Warrior because the lighting sucks. I would love to see Dualtron integrate a light into the stem or maybe down here or something like that. That could definitely be improved on. The handlebars, the handlebars could be a little bit wider. They're definitely a little narrow. I'm not a tall guy, I'm only about five foot eight, but they could be wider. Now I do like the fact that they that it folds. I really like that. But the handlebars could be wider. Definitely could be wider. And if they were wider, the scooter would feel safer. Now the kickstand. Look at this fucking kickstand. Why didn't it come with a kickstand like the Dualtron uh, Storm, that square looking kickstand, the Dualtron Thunder 2, the Dualtron Storm Limited, they all got that nice square looking kickstand. This thing looks like a fucking pencil. It looks like it's going to break. It's definitely going to break somewhere down the road and they don't make a replacement kickstand for this fucking thing. So I'm going to have to stick with this shit and it looks ugly as fuck. Then another thing, I don't like this mud guard. This mud guard is just very thin looking. It doesn't even cover the fucking tire. It's not even a mud guard. <laughs> Any water comes up, you're fucked. You're going to get splashed. The whole bike is going to get dirty. I would love to have seen them attach the mud guard down here because Dualtrons attach it up here or they attach it down here like the Dualtron Thunder. The Dualtron Storm has a nice square looking uh, mud guard. I like that. I wish it had that square looking mud guard to match with the square kick plate. It would have looked really good. Then the deck, the deck could be thicker. I wish the deck was a little bit thicker, uh, thicker up here and then a little bit thicker down here. Maybe if the deck wasn't so wide, if it wasn't so wide, but a little bit thicker, I think it would look a little bit better in my opinion. And 
the stem should have came greased because I was getting a lot of creaking noises from here and from here. So the stem could have been greased, should be greased right out of the fucking factory because a lot of people end up taking their scooters back to Mini Motors because it's creaking and cracking. You know, who wants to spend all this money on an electric scooter that's going to creak and crack? Now, guys, I'm going to tell you what I do like about this scooter. I love the big 160 millimeter rotors. Uh, it has nut brakes, which are the best brakes besides the Magura brakes. I think the nut brakes are the best. So the braking is unbelievable. I love that. I love the kick plate. I think the kick plate looks awesome. It's got a very aerodynamic look to it. And as you guys can see, it came with this ugly piece of crap. Look at this mud guard, this ugly looking thing. It covered most of the back tire. That thing's going in the garbage. <laughs> so I hated that actually. So we could put that on the list of things that I hated. Um, I love the mini motor speedometer. Best speedometer in the in the in the business, the EY3. Best speedometer in the business, in my opinion. Um, I love the foldable handlebars. I think the foldable handlebars uh, are awesome. A lot of people don't like that, but I do. Um, I love the grips. I think the grips are nice. They don't move um, very tight, and they look good and they feel good. And I love the speed and the range. The speed, I love the deck light. I mean, the lighting on the stem, the lighting on the sides. The range is crazy with the 35 amp hour battery. The Dualtron Storm only has a 31 amp hour battery. So there's a lot to like and there's a lot to not like about this scooter, guys. And, you know, there are flaws. Dualtrons aren't, you know... Dualtrons aren't the only scooter that don't have flaws, you know what I mean? Every scooter has their flaws, but this is definitely one of the best scooters in the business. This, the Cabo Wolf Warrior, I would say. I would say the um, Nami, that's another good one. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. I know it was a quick one, but I just wanted to let you guys know my 350-mile review and let you guys know what I think is, you know, what I like and what I don't like about this electric scooter and what I think needs to be improved on in the future. Mikey from the Electric Scooter Guy, peace out.